Hi everyone and welcome back to my Canada Immigration Explore YouTube channel. In this video, I would like to talk about Quebec announces suspension of LMIA processing for some low-wage temporary foreign workers, starting September 3rd, the processing of labor market impact assessments, LMIAs. Two applicants in Montreal will be suspended for job offers with hourly wages below 27 Canadian dollars and 47 cents, the Quebec median hourly wage. This measure is expected to be in place for the next six months and has been approved by the Federal Government of Canada. The suspension was announced this morning by Quebec Premier Francois Legault and Quebec's Immigration Minister Christine Fréchette, with the intention of managing temporary resident levels in the province and maintaining the integrity of the Temporary Foreign Worker Program, TFWP. Note, temporary resident refers to those who reside in Canada temporarily, on a work or study permit, or a visitor visa electronic travel authorization, these changes do not apply to jobs in a place of work outside of the economic region of Montreal, jobs with an offered wage equal to or higher than the current median wage in Quebec, 27 Canadian dollars and 47 cents, LMIA applications received before the 3rd of September, 2024, employers applying for LMIAs in certain industry groups. As described by the North American Industry Classification, NAICS, including agriculture, construction, food processing, education, and health and social services sectors. The administrative region of Montreal includes the municipalities of Bay d'Earth, Beaconsfield, Cote St. Luc, Dollar Dormo, Dorville, Hampstead, Kirkland, Lyle Dorville, Montreal, Montreal East, Montreal West, Mount Royal, Point Claire, St. Anne de Bellevue, Seneville, and Westmount. The federal government says it will closely monitor this policy as it continues to make decisions about the future of the TFWP. The TFWP is Canada's federal stream to enable employers to hire foreign workers who help fill key labor shortages that the country cannot fix domestically. Through this stream, the hiring of a foreign worker must be supported by an LMIA. The program has come under recent scrutiny after remarks from Canada's employment and immigration ministers. Most notably, on the 6th of August, Minister of Employment, Workforce Development, and Official Languages Randy Boissonnault announced a suite of new measures to help preserve the integrity of the TFWP. Taking specific aim at the low-wage stream of the program, Boissonnault has previously cited the danger of employers becoming addicted to cheap foreign labor and emphasize that the TFWP is not meant to circumvent the hiring of Canadian workers in jobs and industries where they are available. He further noted that the low-wage stream of the TFWP was a potential vehicle to artificially depress wages in Canada and stated that the ministry would consider refusing to process LMIA applications under the stream altogether. These sentiments were echoed by Immigration Minister Mark Miller in recent comments to news agency Reuters. In the end, I would like to request you please like the video and subscribe Canada Immigration Explore YouTube channel and also share this video to your friends and family members for Canada Immigration updates. Thank you, see you in the next video, take care.